All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Valheim. Valheim, as of yesterday, March 2nd, put out another update to their early access. And this one focuses mainly on dedicated servers. So if you remember from the last patch notes, they made some changes to the sockets to try to improve some of the dedicated server problems they were having and ultimately wound up creating even more problems. So this patch focuses uh, solely on not only trying to address the problems that they introduced in the last patch, but also trying to get smoother communication while playing on a dedicated server. One of the biggest changes that was made to the dedicated servers is now that they always use the direct connection instead of using the Steam Diagram Relay, which should allow for much lower latency for most players. Now, I don't know if it's going to solve everybody's problem. We haven't tested it yet, but ultimately the problem with the multiplayer is you get in there and the communication between the players or the server is absolutely horrible and it just amplifies when you have more people on there. You know, I, I we took on the fifth boss the other day and, you know, there was a part in the video like I just got into the server and it was taking a forever to render the changes that were made in the world. Um, and then also when you're trying to just, you know, pass uh, items between a chest between two players, it took forever for somebody just coming into the world to even be able to access anything. So... You know, hopefully they address this problem. This is the, the biggest issue with the dedicated servers right now is this communication that they're having. And, um, you know, if it's not their primary focus, it should be their primary focus because the game is fantastic. It's even better when you have a group of people playing with you. And so, you know, to get this addressed is just, to me, it's priority especially since I play mostly on the dedicated server with people. It's not very fun when you're trying to take on a boss and half the people can't see what's going on. And, it, you know, it, it takes them seconds, if not a half a minute, to be able to see, you know, uh, queued up attacks. So <laughs> or the, the mobs are, you know, bouncing around uh, on your screen because uh, the communication is just so bad. The other thing is they've uh, allowed for private dedicated servers by adding a server command of dash public zero uh, on the command line when you're launching the, the server. And so they've updated the server manual, the dedicated server manual as well. There was uh, several other changes that happened uh, in this update. There was some localization updates that were made, um, some smoothing of animation for Haldor's head, who's the traitor, if you guys don't know who Haldor is. There were some changes to the object networking interpolation, which what happens is if you got in there, you would see if, if an object was far away, you see it skipping around or flying through the air, especially when you're like entering the dungeons or exiting a portal. That supposedly is fixed or better. The ability to be able to join dedicated servers through the join IP button is now in there and it's needed if you're going to do a LAN connection. There are several other changes like, you know, bone mass effect and um, preventing picking up items when entering in a portal. There was also a decrease to the wolf procreation. I guess too many wolves were being created. I, I don't know if you talk to some of the people that I play multiplayer with specifically de deliberately bad advice. He would tell you that they're not procreating fast enough. Uh, and then lowered the chance for the boss trophy to talk. And this is the most frustrating thing to me because I have some of the boss trophies hanging on my wall. And every once in a while they would start talking. And, it, you know, and it wasn't every once in a while. It would literally just like go off almost, I won't say nonstop, but, you know, it just felt like it was nonstop. So I'm I'm glad. I Hopefully they reduced it a lot. I mean, I haven't tested it, but I, I'm hoping that reduced it significant as to what it was. At any rate, this was not a very big update. Like I said, it seems like they're focusing mainly on the dedicated and server and the network multiplayer issues, which is critical to me. So I'm glad that they're working on it. And hopefully more changes will come. If you guys do are, are still experiencing, you know, multiplayer issues, there's mods that are available for you that will help um, kind of mitigate some of the problems in multiplayer and it's mainly uh, about sending the amount of packets back and forth uh, to and from the server. 
So you guys can look on that on the Nexus mod. It's uh, one of the mods that are up there for network. Just search for network and multiple in Valheim on the Nexus mod. And you'll come up with something that uh, is pretty easy to use. And uh, I haven't tested it. To be honest with you, I haven't tested it yet. I, I'm thinking about it, especially after our last escapade with 10 people on the server and the problems we were having. I'm thinking about installing it on the server to see how well it does reduce the problems. But people who have used it say that it definitely does alleviate some of the problems. It doesn't remove them, but it just, you know, makes them slightly better. At any rate, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.